from here at Austin Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. The very impressive 10th ranked Ducks hosting the ultimate upstarts, number 19, Colorado. This Colorado defense has not seen a quarterback like Bo Nix this year, and they certainly haven't seen a guy in total control of his offense the way Nix is. Second and 11. Bucky Irving's going to be able to get something big off the left side and more breaking a tackle. This is something Oregon's going to try to do, get the ground game going. 15 yards for Bucky Irving. Nix able to go underneath. As getting it out past the 40-yard line is Troy Franklin. Travis Hunter, the star lockdown cornerback for Colorado, injured last week on a hit that drew a penalty. Nix quickly to the outside and is back to Franklin. And this Ducks offense is in rhythm, Jess. Second and nine. Pressure coming quickly, getting it to Johnson. And Johnson weaving his way for a first down. Ball comes out at the end. We will see if they marked him down. The ruling on the field is the runner was down. Second and ten. Nix with plenty of time. And he goes underneath again to Tez Johnson. Whittington. Into the end zone for a Ducks touchdown. Great job at tight end. Patrick Herbert right here getting a block on Jordan Dominic and allowing a cutback for Whittington. You've got to be able to set that edge outside. Great job using his hands and leverage. And that's a very impressive opening drive by the Ducks. A 10-play drive. Lewis caps it with the extra point. And now he's putting 11 guys on the field to try to take him down. Whittington. Well blocked for Noah Whittington in another chunk play for Oregon. Now he's responding. Third down and 10. Nix is going to keep it. And Nix trying to dive ahead. And he's going to be a couple yards short of that line again, taken down on the 30. Fourth down and two. Good pass to the outside. And weaving ahead is Gary Bryant. Gary Bryant patiently waited for that block for just a moment. A transfer from USC, and he's able to move the chains. Just good hard running to move the sticks. Nix is eight for eight. Irving, as he goes ahead for nine yards. Trevor Woods on the back end with a tackle. Orbit motion from Franklin. Irving stacked up, trying to break free, kept his back somehow and fights his way to the five-yard line. Nick's quarterback run and then a throw and then getting into the end zone is Casey Kelly. Swing and gate formation for Oregon here on the PAT. That's Patrick Herbert lined up and he's going to take it. That was actually not Herbert who ended up with a direct snap as he typically does. Instead, that was Ross James. Jimmy Horn's the return man, and he's at the other 40. It's the first punt for Ross James. And they are going to fake it, and it is going to work out. Would you look at this? That was from their own 17-yard line as they fake it with Casey Rogers, the big 300-pound defensive tackle. Now, Casey Rogers was an excellent lacrosse player. He had a scholarship offer to play Lax at Syracuse, so the big man can run. Look at this. Everybody from Colorado is looking at the punter who's rolling out to the right. Not just eye candy on offense, eye candy on special teams. Great selling job by the punter like it went over his head. And how about the big fella rumbling? Second and 13 after the Knicks going to swing it to Irving. And Bucky is met and breaks the tackle. He went right through Travis J, the transfer from Florida State. Third down and nine. Nix with time. Shallow cross goes underneath. And Franklin, another flag at the end of that play as Franklin gets enough for the first down. Probably a face mask at the end of this play to Troy Franklin. Personal foul. 
Face mask. Defense number four. The king yard penalty be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. And it makes for a second and 21. Irving splitting defenders and getting it all back and more. First down, Ducks. Second and seven. Whittington taken down from behind. Troy Franklin, number 11, right now lined up against Travis J. The Florida State transfer who's missed time with a knee injury out to his left down here one-on-one. -on -one. Third and two, Knicks to the end zone. And it's into the arms of Troy Franklin. Touchdown, Oregon. And then Bo Nix, who has been red hot, caps that drive. He's a six foot three receiver running a fade route. Look at the speed off of the ball. And Travis J is six foot two himself. He has good size. He hasn't had a lot of reps early this year. And on an island one on one, he's no match for Franklin. That you see that. Diamond formation here on the two-point conversion. Knicks goes to the other side and gets it to Franklin. They're trying to make a point to the country right now. Empty set for Shador. As time before that happens. Eventually it closed down, and it was the transfer from the SEC doing damage out west, Jordan Birch. He's a guy that has to step up for this offense with no Travis Hunter out there. Here's Tempo. Sanders tackled, sacked as they came in hard on him. Well, that's a coverage sack on the back end. Nowhere for Sanders to go with the football. It's Brandon Dorless, pick number three. A 290 pounds. Man, he's athletic. He can play defensive end or play defensive tackle in the second and 17. Shador backing up again. Taken down again. And this offensive line gives way. Thank you, Kevin. Look forward to hearing all the reaction of Florida State Clemson as well. Jordan James breaking tackles and going ahead for yet another first down for Oregon. He's James stays in as the back. And they will feed him, and here he goes. Jordan James able to cut and spin, and another chunk play in the run game for the Ducks as he makes it to the 36. Look forward to hearing what Kevin and Boog have to say at halftime on this big day of college football. Knicks strong arms it, and with these, Troy. Franklin into the end zone. A 36-yard touchdown strike. Bo Nix to Troy Franklin. And then the very last practice before the season opener. He was injured, took him a while to get going. Now you can't stop him. Well, that was a coverage but Third and six, four-man rush. Shador spins out of it. Another man in his face and sacked again. That's the fourth time. And Tatum Tuioti with the sack. The true freshman takes down Shador Sanders. How much emotionally did Colorado have left in the tank coming into this game? Bo Nix, after a timeout, was used as he goes right back to Troy Franklin. I mean, coming in here without your best player, Travis Hunter. Nix is on fire. He can't miss. Tess Johnson. And coverage is soft. Pockets are open. And there's another one by the Buffaloes. And it's a play in this first half. Nix goes underneath as he's right back to Tez Johnson. I mean, Joe, this looks like a really good offense. Just calling it like I see it. That's what this looks like right now. One of the best offenses in the country with a Heisman contending quarterback and with running backs who can do this, whether it's Irving, who you see there, Whittington, or James. Right now, he's got his hands full. Quick to the outside, and again, it's Franklin. Franklin makes a move as he works his way to the 10 yard line. And you have Bo Nix, who, as we said, like having a coach on the field, distributing the ball, sharp as could be. He's 22 of 24 and could add to it right here. He's got another one on one up here with Amarian Cooper, his best receiver. He's going to run it. Nix inside the five and inside the end zone. He can do it with the arm and then showcase the smarts with the legs.
Play action on second and four, and a man right in his face again. That's Jamal Hill, and a flag comes in late. You gotta wonder what is the answer? How do you deal with it as the season continues when you've got such a weakness with this offensive line? Johnson backed up inside the 10 and he chooses to return it and makes a good decision doing so out to the 23 yard line. Second and seven. Whittington. He catches the seam and it'll be another first down for Oregon, eventually taken down by Trevor Woods. Dominic wasn't able to make the tackle and it's another explosive play in the ground. Cornelius with a great block and there is the slant on the in cut by Holden, the transfer from Alabama. And These last two seasons. Nix, plenty of time to do that. Trey Sean pulled in wide open. It's a nice design by Will Stein, the offensive coordinator. James, and they get more. Remember what he said to Katie George. We are not satisfied. We are not done. He gave us unprecedented access. Third and six. He got run over from the outside, from the inside. Evan Williams again. Little D Dylan Edwards couldn't hold up. It didn't matter. It was coming for Shador Sanders. Because you cannot afford to have him get injured. After the penalty, he's going to quickly get it to Ferguson, his big tight end. Ferguson nicknamed t -Fer. It's good size, good speed. Trevor Woods with the tackle. They go out and get yards. Bucky Irving. Oh, he goes right underneath Jawan Mitchell before it's cleaned up by Shiloh Sanders. Nix, quick pass, gets it to Holden. Holden with a good block out in front and then puts a shoulder on Shiloh. They said, I'm sorry, do you not realize who they're playing? Shador tripped up, sacked again. Jordan Birch was probably the closest man to him. That is the seventh sack by Oregon. Seven. And it's Casey Rogers who had the fake punt early in the game. He is just walking the center Van Wells right back into the pocket into Shador Sanders' lap. It's been that kind of day all day. It's really been that kind of season for Shador Sanders so far behind this offensive line. But uh, may have one day been a teammate of... Deion Sanders. Ty Thompson is in at quarterback. And as Jordan James takes it ahead. Well, hold on. Let me let me take out my trusty 1989 draft guide. This is Ty Thompson. Ty Thompson himself he was a big, highly touted recruit. Looks small back in the late 80s. The Packers offensive tackle out of Michigan State. Tony Mandrich. Excellent by you. Excellent. That's bonus Aflac trivia points for you, my friend. Just saying a lot of head coaches and GMs got it right that draft class outside of man. Kenyon Sadiq, the true freshman tight end there. You don't have your most dynamic player, Travis Hunter, on the field this week. They're certainly hoping they can get him back sooner than later. This is Ty Thompson, the backup quarterback. Ty Thompson, by the way, I mentioned was a five-star freshman. He was the backup to Anthony Brown back in 2021 to leave Austin Stadium. McCaskill is driven back. Joe, to put it into perspective for the kind of day it's been for Colorado, they almost have as many penalty yards as they have total yards on offense. Oh, yeah. like, like, hearing that. Dowdell in at running back as he gets the carry and spins ahead to the 29. And Jesse Bo Nix completed 85% of his passes. He had four total touchdowns. He had a big stage with a lot of Heisman voters watching, and he took advantage, Joe. Phenomenal day for Bo Nix. 522 yards for Oregon to 194 for Colorado. 42-6 to six is your final. We